Hello everybody. Um, my name is Sherry General. I am a Beachbody coach. Um, I have been on this journey for quite a while and today I'm going to show you how I have made um, one of my all-time favorites which was lasagna into a healthy and um, very tasty meal without all the extra stuff that normally doesn't make it super healthy. So today what I'm doing is I'm going to be doing the lasagna roll-ups. Um, this is a really good um, way of sneaking in those extra little uh, greens that a lot of our families don't like or don't care for. And um, it's a really good uh, healthy comfort food that you can substitute for the regular plain meat sauce lasagna. You can make this, this the way I do it is it's a meatless um, meal, um, but you can easily, well, I shouldn't say you can easily add meat to it. I wouldn't, this would be definitely a meatless um, meal for sure. So what I usually recommend is this isn't like your typical lasagna where you can buy the oven ready noodles. You do need to buy um, regular noodles that you're going to have to cook because you're going to roll them. And I don't know about you, but I could never figure out, or I would never be able to figure out how to roll hard noodles. So I always pick one that has the extra fiber in it or whole wheat or anything like that for the noodles. And then what I do is I let them so that they're pliable. And um, this recipe that I have that I'm going to be uh, posting on my blog, which is www.cupcakestokale.ca. So please feel free to um, uh, go on there and this will be a full um, recipe guide of what it is that I've used. Um, one of the other things that I do is I don't normally use ricotta cheese. A lot of times, for some reason, now I'm in my daughter's kitchen, I'm not in my own kitchen, and so we're out east right now, which is Ontario, and I normally live in out west. So out west, we can get dry um, cottage cheese. Out here, we can't. So um, I looked everywhere. Trust me, I looked everywhere. So I ended up getting ricotta, which is actually part of what the recipe is, but I did have in a substitute if you do want to use cottage cheese. Um, what you don't want is a lot of the liquid, so you want to drain it. Um, a lot of times, you, if you don't have spinach, I always have spinach available, fresh spinach, so I always, always use fresh spinach. You can use frozen as well, but once again, you're going to want to thaw it and really get all that liquid out of there. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a quick version because I know, I don't know about you, but not a lot of people like to be in the kitchen forever. So I have my pan already. I have my cheese. So basically what it is, is I'm going to get my cutting board here. You're going to take one of your noodles. Well, first of all, we're going to make the filling. So it usually says three quarters of a cup of spinach. Um, this is more like a cup, which is part of my uh, 21 day fix um, portion size. So that is a full cup. And then I'm going to add some garlic and seasonings. It's so hard when you're not in your normal kitchen to find things that you normally don't put. So I usually do about a tablespoon of garlic in there. I like garlic. And then you're going to add your ricotta cheese, which is a cup So usually the ricotta cheese is about one and, a, one and a half cups. So what I generally do is I make up enough. Now I had cooked up 12 noodles just because I know my daughter is going to want some for leftovers for tomorrow for work. So I'm going to go ahead and use my cup. One. I think it said one. So. And there we go. So as you can tell, ricotta is very dry cheese. That's why I said you can use dry cottage cheese. 
as well. Put that in there because what you don't want is runny, gooey. And then I'm just going to mash this up really quick. How did it work out? I haven't finished it yet. Oh, okay. Because it's almost too, like... I know, it's too, yeah. yeah. So this is what I'm doing. I'm just stirring this up, giving it a good mix. Very simple recipe. It's, um... I think the prep time is maybe 20 minutes, if that. The longest time, so normally what I would be doing is the longest time would be is cooking the noodles. Um, so what I would suggest is that while your noodles are cooking, you get your all your other stuff prepared. So you're going to take your noodles, which is like this, and I'm just going to move those out of the way. And then I will show you. So you're wondering what these seasonings are for. That is going to go into the marinara. So let me see. So we have our here. Just gonna pull it down. There you go. So you can see. So basically, rule of thumb is you're just gonna go along the line of kind of spread it out a little bit. Like that because if you put too much it's just gonna go outside of the noodle so you don't really want that either so I'm just gonna spread that and like I said the dry, dry cottage cheese works really well as well so you're just gonna roll them up like that as you can tell some of it's going out and then there you go and then you're just gonna place them with the, the underside down so that'll hold it properly I'll do another one here. Actually, I did something. What you're going to do, which I clearly forgot to do, is you are going to want to put a little bit of sauce on the bottom, which is what you would normally do with lasagna as well. And I did not do that, so I will do that quickly. And then there's another one. Bad you. Bad me. So, this will be another quick one. So what you're going to do, but you're going to take your marinara sauce and I guess we'll put it off. Okay, you just turn it. Oh, yeah, there you go. So you're going to take some of your marinara and you want to add a little bit extra flavoring to it for sure. So like I said, I have some oregano. There we go. Oregano, thyme, basil. All the Italian type of uh, seasonings. So give that a sprinkle. Give that a quick stir. Very tasty. And then what you're going to want is you're going to put this on the bottom. <laughs> you're going to put this on the bottom of the pan. If you can see, kind of spread it around a bit. Because you're going to add more to it when um, when you uh, get them all in there. So this is just to give it a little bit so it doesn't stick to the... I did spray the foil with a little bit of Pam. Um, and I'll put the rest of it in there because that's going to go on top. There we go. And you can use um, spaghetti sauce as well. Um, it's totally up to you what you guys like, what your families like. So I'm just going to place the roll up like that. And then like that. The tedious part is probably more of the preparing of it, but it is very tasty. And once you get the hang of it, it doesn't take any time at all. And then you're just going to roll. Roll, 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 roll. There's another one. So the recipe that I have posted on my blog, it does eight noodles. And that, um, but like I said, 
I know that my daughters like to have leftovers, so I'm just going to be making a little bit of extra. So you just spread that around. And this is one of those things where less is not, or more is not better because then it'll just squeeze out the sides. You want enough filler so that way it will, um, you want enough filler so it feels like it's, you can taste the, the nice cheese in the spinach, but at the same time you don't want it over full because then it's just going to leak out and then it's going to be a waste. So there you go. There's some. So it's very, very easy. I've never used ricotta, but I'm going to tell you, this actually is a lot easier for sure. You could actually get an assembly line if you wanted to. And then roll. What is that? Is that a. Is that the, like a telephone thing that you do? Or is that like an electricity thing? That gray thing out there. Yeah, it's a transformer, I think. Oh, really? Because Penny keeps kicking it okay. and patting at it. Okay, so I've got just about enough for eight. So I'll clearly be making some more, which I do have extra. So that'll work out really well. But this will give you an idea. And then you just roll, roll, roll. Very good dish for Meatless Mondays if you guys do that. And then I have just enough for this last guy. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to put a little bit of sauce over top of the, the noodles because you don't want it the noodles to be over dry and you roll this up so that clearly made eight noodles right to the T so there we go clearly this pan is way too big for it so I've got the sauce I'm just gonna add the rest of the seasonings and then give that a stir And then what you're going to do, I'm just going to bring it over closer so you can see, right about there. So then what you're going to do is you're just going to And there is your lasagna roll-ups. And then you just bake them at 350. And then a little bit of cheese. And there you have it. There is the lasagna roll-ups. And as you can tell, you can see on my blog the finished result and um, the full recipe. So you enjoy yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video and there are going to be a few more. Um, like I said, I haven't been able to do my uh, live videos in quite a while. So I will be doing this live um, at six o'clock. So um, you take care, have a great day, have a great evening and um, enjoy yourself. And I hope you enjoy this recipe. And like I said, by all means, Go to my blog and it is www.cupcakestokale.ca. Thank you so much.